Hi, my name is Jason Yo. Uh, I'm a barista at St. Frank Coffee at our flagship cafe on Polk Street. Uh, we're here again in my backyard where we're going to be brewing some coffee. In our last brewing guide, um, I showed you guys how to do the V60 method. We're able to control all the variables going into a single cup. As opposed to what we're going to be doing today, the Bonavita Batch Brewer, we're able to have a more communal experience with higher volumes of coffee. Three reasons why this is a very awesome brewer at home is that it's consistent, it's convenient, and it's, again, communal. Some materials you're going to need is, of course, the Bonavita 8 Cup Brewer, also some coffee filters. The Bonavita Brewer itself comes with filters, but if you run out of filters, 8 Cup filters um, at your local grocery stores are going to be just fine for this brewing method. Another crucial ingredient you're going to need with making good coffee at home is good, clean, filtered water. Uh, another crucial ingredient you're going to need to produce really awesome coffee at home is really awesome coffee. So today we have uh, Las Nieblas grown by Ubaldo Moreno in the Santa Barbara Mountains of Honduras. In our last brew guide, I stressed the importance of using a scale to measure everything by weight uh, for precision purposes, but in the spirit of convenience, uh, we have a recipe dialed in for scoops. Nope, not that. Scoop? Nope, that's okay. Nope, sorry. A tablespoon will do. <laughs> Another thing I stressed in our last brew guide is investing in a really good quality burr grinder. This is gonna fracture the coffee into more even uh, pieces for more even brews. This is how much a level tablespoon of ground coffee weighs. This is how much a full tablespoon weighs a uh, whole bean here. And a little bit less. After testing multiple batches, uh, we discovered that 14 level scoops of the ground coffee for our single origin coffees is perfect for the full batch recipe that we have today. And 16 level scoops of the ground coffee for our blend. For half batches, of course, divide quantity into. The factory recommendation is uh, 18, but for our specific recipe, we're gonna go a touch finer uh, at 17 steps out of 40. So we're just gonna add the coffee here, and we're looking for 14 level scoops. You want to make sure that we have a flat, even bed here, and we'll do that just by tapping the sidewalls of the brewer. Put that in. And we're going to go all the way up to the eight cut line here with our filtered water. We're just going to press this button to engage the brewing process. Once you see the orange light, uh, that is the indicator that the brewing process has started. Now. This is a really awesome part where you get to fill your day with other activities while this brews. The light has flickered off here and that is the indicator that we are complete with our brew. Uh, so the next step is just to remove it. I want to stress the importance of stirring your batches. Um, again, the layer at the top here is going to be very thin, um, and the layer at the bottom here is going to be very dense. In order to ensure a more even sipping experience, we're going to stir our brew here. The next step here is to, of course, enjoy with your loved ones. Another advantage of a brewing device like this is that it's communal. And of course, enjoy.